Some things change. Some things do not change. And some things do both. This gym looks and feels very much the same as it did some 30 years ago when the Irish and Crusaders boys teams got together for a very emotional Reardon senior night. But they didn't have girls basketball teams back then. And that, my friends, is a change for the better because they got them now. R-I-O-R-D-A-N S to the H to the C to the green to the money and you can take that to the bank. All right, all right, all right. Let's have some fun. So if you want some, take some. Ashanti Diaz says, I'll take three, please. Her game is tight from beyond the stripe. Between the legs, sidestep three. Reza Poe. Be like water, my friends, and let it flow. Kiana Monez says, I can play that three-point game. She gives up the rock, relocates, gets the rock back, and rolls with it, baby. Bangity bang and down. Throw your hands up, party people. No, I mean literally. Throw your hands up. Like number 34, Tegan Radcliffe. And Giselle Santos will find you. Tegan turns the nifty pass into an assist and two points for herself. Anaya Versosa can dish it up too. She spots an opening, and when the D commits, she drops a last second rubber dime to Hazel Nelson, who knows what to do with it once she gets her hands on the rock. SHC stays aggressive. Those greedy kids want more. No, no, no. Not this day and time, my sister. Tegan turns them back. It's called anticipation, people. Karen Nassau jumps the route, and it's off to the races. And she's got them goggles, baby. And it's a family affair. Once Taryn gets it, she creates some open space for the trailer. And you got to keep an eye on your little sister in life and on the basketball court. The junior, Taryn Nassau, gets it to the freshman, Talia Nassau. And these two gonna be travel for a couple more years to come. Cotton candy, Tootsie Roll, we gonna let that camera roll. Anaya Vasosa hits her spot, stops, hops, and pops from the Pepsi Hot Shot spot. Adding to her wonderful night is Kiana Monez. Her aim is true for sure for two from about 10 feet out and never underestimate the power of the mid-range game. And Taryn knows this man, except her mid-range game is just a little bit further out. She dials it up, long distance, 1-800-27-25, Crusaders up by two at the half. You gots to be ready at all times because sometimes the pass is too good even for your own teammate. Such is the case when Maxine Tudesina slips a shiny penny to Tegan, who's able to get it under control and put it through the cylinder. Bonus slow-mo action for the excellent interior passing. Zippity zippity serendipity. Kiana Tapo, who gets it to fall despite the foul. Then Kiana lets her natural athleticism shine. Stop, slow, and acceleration to the rack, collecting points like Scooby Snacks. Carolyn Alapati wants in on the party, and she pops the seal on the three-point deal. And as we enter the fourth quarter, advantage SHC 42-40. ATM withdrawal, Trania Dunbar, funds available because there is money in the bank, 
Punch her receipt, three points worth. And the Crusaders are giving a lot of responsibility to the freshman, Talia Nassal, who backs up to give herself a little room to work with. And then it's showtime at the Apollo. She would make her free throw for the three-point play the way they did it when I was just a kid. Reardon back up by one. Then along comes a spider. Reza Poe from the corner. Dagger! The Irish reclaimed the lead with five minutes left to go and would not relinquish. They escape with the 58-54 victory over their tough WCAL foe. Why do you play? Where's the joy? Where's the love? Uh, my dad introduced me and ever since then I kind of made more friends and I just like the competitive culture. You have friends on the other team tonight? I do. And uh, what's it like playing against your friends? Uh, I think it's super cool because I kind of grew up with them at some point. We, we talk a little sometimes, but at the end of the day, you know, we're cool and we're always just support each other. You know, it seems like you play with joy, with happiness. Is that true or am I wrong? Yeah, I mean, at some point I kind of felt like there was a lot of pressure, but as I grew up, I kind of figured like, you know, it's basketball, I'm supposed to have fun. I'm a senior, so, you know, might as well enjoy it while it lasts. How do you feel about your teammates, your coaching staff, your school? Oh, I love them. I think uh, the family that we've built and everything, uh, at the end of the day, like, it's all love.